All right, guys, part two of the oven build from Columbia Coatings. Today we're going to wrap up. We have a little bit of insulation left to shove in. This stuff's not fun. Don't be like me, wear a mask. It gets up in the air. I mean, it's all over my clothes. You're breathing that crap in. But we're gonna sheet the outside today and then get the doors hung and the burner box. It'll probably be tomorrow, but get into the burner, the controls, the fans, all that kind of stuff. So let's get back out there and get to work. We gotta get this thing going because we are slammed. sucks balls nothing to really hold the insulation in and then when you put the panels on you got to jam it in so it's giving us a fit <laughs> sat nut and this fan has a nice little access hole so my hand can get it in from the back side so we just gotta twist it down they mark the line there and the line there on the shaft and on the fan so that you know where the fans balance that we gotta tighten that down still though so it's rubbing but we'll get the outside tightened and then this should just spin really nicely hopefully it's blowing air the right way because they're upside down from each other. compared to what we're welding so it's easy to burn through it and there's insulation in the wall so I got Tyler back here with the fire extinguisher and the safety glasses ready to go so let's see what the heck happens okay so it's not great but it's in They tell you to leave this out about six inches here. We gotta come out just a hair and then we'll tighten her down. All right, so we got the control panel hung up with a couple of uh, self tappers. Don't make fun of my electrical. They gave us not enough wire there to put it up high. Too much wire there, cause I'm sure it's for a longer oven. And then that wire was all goofy, I don't know. It's fine, it's all there, it's all hooked up. They actually do a really nice job of labeling. So all we got to do is match up all of our wires, tie them together, and then hook up our gas line. We're going to run it up to the ceiling, down the wall, and then tie it into that gas line there. So I still got to work on that. Um, and then we got the doors and a bolt to tighten. Uh, the doors are left here. We're going to get those on and then the duct work. And I think that's it.
Columbia Coatings oven. So this is a six foot wide, six foot tall, eight foot deep oven. This is our original oven, which used to be clear back there. Lifted it up, brought it over here. So we got both our ovens. You can see what I've been up to. I apologize for the lack of content, but I am still working on content. So there's stuff coming. Let us know what you would like to see going forward. Until then, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know you're still here and we'll catch you guys on the next one.